I just got the Huanuo TV tray table from Amazon. It was $35.69. Let's cut the tape off of here, open it up. As you can see, this is the HNTT model. It's a TV dinner tray that you can use on your bed or your sofa. It has six different heights. So let's take it out of the box. Let's slide the tray table out first. Take the plastic off of that. There's a look at the tray table. It has the sliding cup holder over here, which is a nice feature. There's a look at the bottom of the tray table. Looks like everything just snaps in here. And there's your cup holder sliding out. There's the instructions for setting it up. There's a look at the other side of the instructions. I'm going to take the legs out of the box. Let's see what else we got in the box here. That's everything that's in the box. So on this cardboard we have some more legs. Here's one of our legs and then the um, plastic foot here. This is actually a hard plastic foot and it's screwed on there with two screws. Same thing with the other leg. They both have hollow caps at the top. Okay, under the red bag, we have a rod with two bolts on the end. Here's a look at the adjustable bolt on the end of the rod. Bottom of our cup holder here. We have an Allen wrench uh, and a bolt. Be tightened with the Allen wrench. We can just rip the plastic off of these bars. Now all the plastic is off of these bars. Let's put everything together. First thing we're going to do is get our legs B. These are the legs B. Then we're going to take piece C, which is the thicker bar with piece D attached or maybe not attached, depending on how it came. Then simply insert piece C into pieces B. We're just going to slide down piece C into our legs B, pinch these buttons on the side, and slide them in, pinch the buttons on the other side and slide that side in. And now I have the buttons in the first position here. This is the first of six positions, so you can go one, two, three, four, five, six different heights. Next step, if this wasn't already secured to piece C, is to secure this piece D to C. So if it wasn't together, you can just squeeze this rod and put it in there. But this one came together. Next up, we're going to take our tray, which is piece A, and just attach these hooks to the assembly that we put together. So let's hook that on. goes on nice and easy, just snaps in, and it tilts up. Then I'm going to take that solid rod D and put it wherever I want to put it. So we have the three adjustable positions you can put it in. So there's the first one. As you can see, that's tilted way up there. Take a look at the other side. So that's like position one of the tilt. Move the bar to position two. And then there's the third position you could put the bar in. We could put the bar in position two. And if we lock that into place, that that would be flat. And then uh, we could put it in the third hook or the third position. And it's bending back a little bit in this position. So I'm gonna put it in position two because I feel like that makes the most sense if you're eating. So that's locked into position two. So the last step here is to take this fixing rod E and loosen the bolts F off of it with the Allen wrench or your fingers. You probably loosen these off with your fingers pretty easily as well. And tighten it up with the Allen wrench or your fingers if you need to. Once we attach it to the legs of the tray table, we'll take the other bolt out of there as well. Now that we got the bolts out, we can use this rod to stabilize our table. Let me just look at the bottom of the table with the legs here. There's holes on both sides, so you just put the rod in the middle. And then put your bolts in. 
fish for the rod, you get it started on one side. This is easy enough to do by hand. Same thing with the other side here. Take the bolt and just put it through. Push it through to the other side. You can start tightening it up. And start tightening up both sides by hand. And then, then we can start getting it even tighter using the Allen wrench. You get your Allen wrench there and just turn it. We just put this on the side. Quicker, turn this, tighten it up. And this is just to make your table more stable. Take the Allen wrench out, same thing on the other side here. Get that Allen wrench in there. And we're tightening it up. Alright, once you get the bar tight, move on to the next step. Final optional step, just pull out your cup holder. And then you can just add this insert here. And that slides down nicely and it holds in right there. And you slide that back in. And we're all put together. Of course, uh, in the red bag was a spare bolt. I guess if we lose the bottom bolts on the floor. Uh, we can also tilt the tray down, remove the bar D, and then turn the legs B to, to fold up the tray table and put it away. Here's a look at the TV tray fully set up. I had the tray adjusted one notch down so it can go higher by one notch or lower. Overall, I like the TV tray. It's very stable and sturdy. The frame is metal and this top piece is a hard plastic. I also like that you can adjust it moving it up or down. One drawback I see is the extra bar that helps stabilize the table. So basically if you wanted to fold this table up and turn the legs inwards to put it away somewhere, you'd have to unscrew that bar. But beyond that, it's pretty versatile, and I do like this TV tray. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.